right, Dr. Wright again from Walnut Creek Animal Hospital in Purcell, Oklahoma. Um, we're continuing our discussion about canine first aid for the uh, working class dog handlers. Um, ultimately, we've, we have come to the topic of massive hemorrhage and hemostasis or um, the stoppage of that blood flowing you know, out of the body that is life threatening. Um, and, and what I wanted to do realistically is just discuss some of the theory behind doing what we do, you know, and the, and the physiology or the physics behind it. Um, and so, you know, whenever we talk about wounds and direct pressure, you know, what we're doing with direct pressure to control hemorrhage is, is to prevent the blood flow past the area in which it's damaged, whether the blood's coming to that area from the heart or coming um, away from the um, distal limb back to the heart um, if it's a venous uh, puncture or something like that. So um, ultimately with tourniquets basically we're applying circumferential pressure you know that's fairly uniform um, to an area to inhibit blood flow you know to uh, anything past that tourniquet. And so um, ultimately you know whenever we, we do these things um, the impedance of, of blood both from the heart to the limb and then from the limb back to the heart is, is, uh, is stopped, you know, at that point. So if we have a wound distal to that. The problem with tourniquets in the dog basically are, you know, the vast amount of blood supply that comes to the limbs, you know, is through the axillary region. So they come out of the chest and out of the uh, pelvic abdomen into the legs. Um, and, and these legs are always funnel shaped, so it makes it a, a kind of a difficult area to keep a tourniquet on. They generally will slide to the elbow region and to the stifle and then stop. So that leaves, you know, one half of the limb that is really not applicable to application of a tourniquet. And so then we move to other um, techniques and things like uh, pressure bandaging. And pressure bandaging works the same way. We'll talk about this a lot or we'll, we'll use the term um, a compression um, device or a compression um, wrap, um, compression pad, those sort of scenarios. And so all we're talking about is Whenever we have an area that's bleeding, that's truncal or, you know, in larger areas, we, we still want to apply that focal pressure. And so what happens, let's say, you know, in all these demonstrations, we're going to use a product like VetWrap. Let's say if we wrap this chest with just VetWrap, what have we done? We've applied symmetrical pressure all the way around that chest. That may be adequate to apply enough pressure to a wound in this area to inhibit blood flow. However, it may not, you know, especially with massive hemorrhage. We've got that really deep uh, femoral artery gushing or axillary region, um, carotid artery or something in the neck. So now what we're talking about with a pressure um, bandage and compression um, is we're going to increase, we're going to focally increase the pressure in one particular area by using some type of padding device underneath this wrap. And so I don't care what you use, you know, we've discussed um, compression pads. This is just roll cotton that we use to fold up and get underneath that bandage. And what we do now is um, we create an area that we have increased the compressive force of this to this one particular area. So there is, there is more compression as we tighten this up. There's more force being placed in this particular area because it acts like a lever on, on this overall band. And so we're focusing that pressure into the area in which we need it to. And so it doesn't really matter what we use for, use for compression pads. Um, roll up a pair of gloves, you know, anything like that. I mean, we're talking about um, stopping life-threatening hemorrhage. Um, hand towels, uh, feminine hygiene products, and like I said, this was just cast padding, a baby diaper, um, you know, it doesn't really matter, but the, the point is the same. The, the key to stopping this hemorrhage is focal pressure in the area that is hemorrhaging, and uh, that's what compression pads do. Um, and they can be utilized anywhere on the body. They can be utilized even on the extremity without a tourniquet. Um, but the point is, is, is 
the, the pad is what increases the pressure in that area um, more so than what is in the opposite regions of this wrap. And so that's the basic principle behind it. Hopefully this is helpful in understanding the next videos. Thanks.